Hi, in this demonstration I'm going to show you how you can use the Illustrator symbols in InDesign. So the first thing to do is go over to Illustrator and open up your symbol to library. It's this um, clover shape. And in my symbols library, I have a butterfly. You may see the default collection of symbols that Illustrator usually gives you. Um, and a lot of people don't know where the other symbols are. But if you are in the symbols panel, you can go to the symbols panel menu and open up symbol libraries. And you can see that my nature library is checked because that's where I've got my butterfly from. So I have a bunch of different symbols, not only in this panel, but in the other ones. So you can use any of these free of copyright restrictions. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to use my symbol um, just by dragging it from my symbol library to create an instance of the symbol in my document. Now to use this symbol in InDesign, all I have to do is copy and paste it. So I'm going to control or command C and then come over to InDesign and control or command V. And that drops my um, symbol instance as a graphic into InDesign. When I click on that symbol instance and I look in my links panel, there is nothing. It's as if it doesn't exist. InDesign does not know where it's coming from. If, however, I am in Illustrator and I file export this document and save it for web and pick a PNG24 and make sure that I have transparency selected, then as long as I don't clip it to the artboard, I will have just the symbol on its transparent background. And then I can save that to a place where I um, want to be able to use it. And I'm going to save this as Butterfly Transparent and save it. And then over in InDesign, I can go to File and Place and go to my desktop, and double click, and now I have I have that butterfly as a PNG and I'm going to click and drag and place that butterfly and now I see in my links panel that all of the information that I need to know about the PNG file is in um, the links panel. So that's the difference between copying and pasting versus placing. One thing you might notice with these graphics um, between the the placed graphic and the um, copy and pasted graphic is that the placed graphic looks um, very pixelated. And if I look at the um, scale in my links panel, I do see that the scale is um, at 123%. So it, it is bigger than it um, should be for its um, real size. So I'm going to hold my commander control key down along with my shift key and I'm going to resize that a little bit smaller um, until it's closer to its 100%, but it still looks a little pixelated. I'm going to make sure that my view um, for my display performance is on high, and that will give me a better idea of the, um, the, the actual quality of this. And still, I see, I see some pixelation. Um, let me zoom in to 100% on my screen just to verify that. And yes, even at 100%, um, it's, it's kind of pixelated. So I don't like that very much. Um, but then again, I have a problem with this, uh, this copy and pasted graphic in that it doesn't show up in my, in my links panel. Um, so if I double click on it, however, I do see that one of the advantages of of copying and pasting an Illustrator file is that I have the ability to change the color in InDesign, which is great. So I like that. Um, but I really would like more information about the, the file itself. So the last thing that I could do is um, not export this graphic from Illustrator as a PNG file. Um, but I could, I could 
come into InDesign and I could file and um, place the actual InDesign file itself. So when I place a file that is a native file, I always want to make sure that I um, show my import options. And so I've got the butterfly illustrator file showing my import options. And if I had more layers, I could, um, I could, I could change these. But I'm, what I'm making sure is that it's cropping to the bounding box of my butterfly and that it's on a transparent background. And um, I only have this layer one. And so I'm going to say OK. And now I have uh, a butterfly file to place that is my Illustrator file. And I see that that is nice and crisp. And I see over in my links panel that the name is butterfly. And it does come in as an Adobe PDF. Um, it's a fairly large file, and it, but it, at 100%, it is it is quite um, quite crisp. And if I drag proportionally to um, change the size of this, this does stay a vector file. Um, however, if I double click on this, unlike my pasted graphic where I can start picking up different pieces of it, my my placed Illustrator file um, can't be edited directly in InDesign. Um, I would have to right click on this and edit um, my original and I would edit this with Illustrator. So I can open this back up in Illustrator, make my changes, save those changes, and then update this link, um, which is fine. Um, it's just good to know that the different ways that you put images in uh, to InDesign make a big difference on what you can do with them and how they look. And so that's the end of this demonstration.